Hello and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching season three, episode four of Fargo. I can't believe we're already at episode four. This seems to be flying by. The last episode we kind of had a bottle episode where it was exclusively focusing on your friend of mine, Gloria Burgle. She was actually literally in Hollywood trying to track down the history of Thaddeus Mobley and how he came to be in his stussy. It was a fantastic mystery box of an episode. And for me, still, the best bits were the cartoon. I love the way they told that story. I like the way they gave us this glimpse inside Thaddeus's mind, because it is an incredible story. I'd watch it, I'd read it. And just the idea that Ennis Stussy got his name from Dennis Stussy and Sons was very far ago. Not only did it come from a toilet, but it wasn't even his name. It was just because it was scratched out, so he went with Ennis. It's gross. Just the fact as well that your name forever would be associated to the very worst night of your life. No wonder he drank a lot. Eden Valley Police have made the link they need to between Maurice Le Fay and the Ennis Stussy murder because obviously fingerprints. So I'm guessing that's going to bring Gloria to Ray, which is going to start the whole thing falling apart. But we'll find out. I think if Nikki's got anything to do with it, but let's be honest, Ray's the weak link in this chain right now. I guess at some point we're going to catch up with Emmett and Sai and what's going on with them. I agree with people in the comments about the various reasons why they wouldn't call the police. That there are potential reasons they wouldn't call the police. I think the best one is the idea that secretly Emmett would actually really like to be a billionaire. And that hadn't gone through my mind that he's sort of like the lady does protest too much about it. Like he's, you know, oh, this is terrible, but really he's seeing the yeah, dollar signs. That's going to be really interesting to see that play out. I absolutely believe that of Emmett. You know, this is a guy that would, I believe, knowingly do his brother out of his inheritance. But in fairness, you know, I don't think Ray would have built a successful business out of the money. But then again, you could argue neither did Emmett because they were going bankrupt, couldn't get a loan from anyone, and so went to, what is it, Norwell? It's really bizarre. I, I, I actually don't know where this is going to go, apart from I'm absolutely clear that Gloria is going to meet Ray Stussy soon. She's going to interview him as Le Fay's probation officer. But other than that, I've not got any real... This is where this is going. I think artistically, this series is getting weirder by the episode, which I think I called it. When was it? I think it was the beginning of episode two. And I said, this is how, this is what episode one has taught me about the season. So far, it seems, seems to be on the money. I'm, I'm liking the use of different ways of telling the story. Like we had the cartoon in the last episode and we've had kind of, you know, the bit in Berlin and there just seems to be a randomness about this season, which I could quite get into. I'll never love it as much as I will a good character story, but I do like a cleverly told story as well. So we'll see where that goes. The episode is called The Narrow Escape Problem. Now I did my research on this, but it is extremely sciencey. We're talking about bromium particles. Those are ions, molecules, and proteins heading towards a geometrically challenging space to escape. I actually think telling the science version of it works less well than telling the metaphorical version of it. The narrow escape problem is basically, you've got a thing trying to escape through a tinier space. And when that space becomes kind of critical, it's called dire straits. Right, I'm ready to get into this episode. Let's have at it. Each character in this tale is going to be represented by a different instrument of the orchestra. Excuse me? For instance, oh, no. the bird will be played by the flute. 
like this. Pulls. That was Lord Malvo. It was, wasn't it? Okay, play. Here's the duck, played by the oboe. <laughs> oh, this is gonna get fucking weird, this episode. The cat, by the clarinet. Soon will represent grandfather. Oh, this is great. I'm in. I'm in. Oh, I love modern villages. No joke. I really fucking love them. I don't like have one, but I like visiting them. The blast of the hunter's shotguns played by the kettle drums. The wolf by the French horns. Oh my god! He's a gannet! Eat a fried egg with your hand, you fucking savage! Oh, he's believe it, he's now gonna throw that all up. Swing his teeth. Peter oh. by the strings. <laughs> Are you sitting comfortably? Yes, Lord. Good. Then I'll begin. She's in some cloud. That wig is horrific. Safe deposit box number 1606. My guess is stash is stamped there. Don't forget, got that meeting with the high roller leader, Bert Lerdsman Plumbing Supplies. Remember, richest guy in the room is always the boss. Best bit is he still doesn't look like Emmett. Is, and he is. The fucking the tame it's really well done this the way they've created Emmett and Ray in this really good. Like that looks like Ray pretending to be Emmett. It's brilliant. You picking up or dropping off? Pardon me? <gasps> oh I'm just playing. You wanna make a withdrawal or a deposit? <laughs> Sorry about that, ES. Millie just moved down from Bemidji. You gotta learn the faces, huh? Or would you get the man a cream soda for shit sakes? Jeez. Fuck's sake. Let the man breathe, girl. Uh, I lost the key, is the thing, to my box. Hate to be a stickler, yes, but uh, without the key, well, we, uh... No, I, uh... Get tough! You know what? Forget it. Just go ahead and pack up all my accounts. I'll take a check if you don't have that much cash on hand. Now, Emmett, there's no need nope, to... No, it's fine. I understand. You don't want to help me. A lost key like it's some kind of national tragedy, but... You got your order. Rules and the like, so... Uh, I'll find a bank. Maybe puts the customer first. You know what? We'll just drill that sucker. No problem. It'll take two seconds, and then you can... Uh, whatever you need. Let me just get my keys. While you're at it, I'll take ten grand and hundreds. And a buck and quarters for the meter. Well, it's just that whenever you take out anything more than 10,000, it automatically triggers a... Buck, if I wanted an opinion from an asshole, I'd ask my own. Got it? Oh, it's gonna go back. Oh, you dickhead. He's gone too far. The burn?
Well, don't keep me in suspense. The stamp wasn't there, but I got this. Christmas. How much did he have, his account? I don't know, uh, maybe a million. Your brother has a million dollars and you took, what is that, 10 grand? This, this is the principle. What's right? Fair market value for the, what, what, what he took, the, the, the stamp. He did what? Believe me, I'm pretty ticked myself. I love that dog. Plus the money, of course. Christ on a stick, you think you know a guy. It was dog's I mean, ashes. You spamming it. What with this bargain mess and poor Earth not even being cold yet. Yeah, and that's, uh, I was gonna talk to you about that. A character like this Barga. I'm just saying you can't put anything past him. Christ. We ought to consider meeting this widow Goldfarb. Sell the company? That's a little... No, no, not sell. Just, I'm saying, take the meeting. Pause. That's the second time they've mentioned this widow Goldfarb. Like, this is gonna be good. There's definitely, like, a point to this. Carol, I'm looking forward to meeting her. I would really like it if the widow was Lady Olenna from Game of Thrones or another Bond girl from the distant past who is now a badass old lady. That's all I got. Play. Buck says she's cash rich and looking to buy in. And it feels like we're getting pulled into something sticky here. So? No. Yeah. That's good thinking. Do it. Make the meat. <laughs> They're actually doing it. The instruments. What the shit are they up to? <laughs> I think they're off to kill somebody is what they're off up uh, is what they're up to. Oh Maurice You see, in Russia there are two words for truth. Pravda is man's truth. Istina is God's truth. But there is also nepravda, untruth. And this is the weapon the leader uses. Because he knows what they don't. The truth is whatever he says it is. Oh, Jesus. Well, that's her ID confirmed. Yeah, there you go. Boom. I don't give us so complicated here. You take a born loser, add a drug addiction, remove a job, fill his pockets with holes, mix in cold turkey. You think this guy isn't gonna drive around randomly looking for someone to rob? Yeah, but then why tear a page out of the phone book? Jules, is this on your bill? I'm going to end up loving Bill, aren't I, compared to this prick? Play. Who's a house? Doesn't that imply that... There you go. Using three-syllable words again for a one-syllable problem. First, that's a two-syllable word. Let me tell you what I saw in Fallujah. Your problem is you're overcomplicating this. Your problem is you're overcomplicating this. I'm not trying to stir things up. No, I think you are. Oh, here we go. I had boys like you in the service. I tell them to go right, they go left. All of them went home in a bag. Well, I'm home already, so. Yeah. Quite. I'm going to spend a few more days on this one, see how it goes. <laughs> She's going so. This is brilliant. This is my kind of an episode. <gasps> I love it. I need a parole officer for Maurice Lafay. That'd be Ray. He's in with a felon at present. Point me to the ladies? Mm-hmm. Who's in the fucking... <laughs> Come on already. <laughs> you wouldn't... Friend, you wouldn't have 
or put her in her by chance. Oh. You find your way clear to a bet and a sister in need, one who was supposed to be with child, but apparently is not. Uh, sorry, I don't have regular. I could ask the clerk. She might have. Oh, some. no, don't burn yourself. Who is it? Twenty Lopez, St. Cloud Metro. Ah, uh, Gloria Burgle, Eden Valley Police. We've been trying, me and Jerry, for months now. Yeah. It's mostly missionary, if I'm being honest. We used to spice it up, but now it's about the shortest distance between two points. I've, um... He popped faster from the back, if I'm being honest, but I think it's important to look each other in the eyes when it comes to making babies. Oh my god, stop talking! Well, I better hit it. Here on a 10.30. You? A uh, murder. Jeez. Yeah. Well, happy trails. Uh -huh. Jeez, bonkers. <laughs> oh my god. I'm uh, looking into the uh, the uh, murder of. Now that is truly. What are the odds? I mean, it's, go figure, it's a pretty common name. I got cousins all over the darn place. Not that I'm saying that this fella was a cousin, although, who knows, could have been. Well, reason I'm here, one of your cons, Maurice. He's most likely the culprit. We got evidence shows he broke into the victim's house, tore the place apart looking for something. M Maurice Lefay. That's the one. Air conditioner that caved his cranium, I heard. Fella drove 30 miles without knowing his destined address, finds Ennis out of the phone book, and then searches his house like he knows there's something there. He liked his reefer. Is that right? Well, smoked a heck of a lot. In fact, he blew his piss test. I was gonna grab him up when I heard the news. Death by major appliance. We're moving offices, so I wrote the new number on the back. Hmm. Deputy Director. Yes, sir. Talking okay, out. It's a problem, Ray. Uh oh. Oh shit! They reported him. For Pete's sake, it's right there in the handbook. Don't bang the cattle. First off, it's probably broken glass down there. Second, second is against the damn law. Which. Uh, if you tell us that it was a one-time thing, that you lost your mind for a moment, then we can go to suspension, hmm? Right? Slap you on the wrist. I love her. Son. That's the wrong. That's not the way to go here, Ray. Really. And you know what? She loves me. Look at her. A girl like that, and she loves me. We're getting married. We got plans, big plans. Not if we revoke her. Now hold on just a... Consequences, Mr. Stussy. Can't do... Maybe a few months at still water to straighten her out. These rules aren't just for you, Ray. What if she's manipulating you? Using a prune can to hoodwink a bamboozle. See, that's what they do, son. I thought you knew that. Look, 